when you see it, the colour, the richness of it, it's a preview to what you're going to experience. When you oh, smell it, geez. it's like, mm. This is no it's, joke. It is, is, it's opulent. This is one that I've found a lot of customers are telling me, expect this to perform 10, 12 hours. The way that this fragrance just sort of bloomed on me, a rip of a fragrance. Oh, I've never heard that before. Aussie. Yeah. It's Aussie. I'm gonna wear this one <laughs> tonight, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm covered in perfumes. Both of these lovely gentlemen actually requested this to be in the video. Hey guys, Kevin here from the Oligarch store, but today we're at a very special place here. Joined by, you guys know who this man is. Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome. Well, I uh, actually was presented with the opportunity to sit down with this very special gentleman. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, um, I'm Daniel Henrywood and I'm the creative and commercial director at Fragrance Dubois. Whoa! <laughs> Can I just add one point? I was only here on technical requirements, so, Kevin asked me, can you help me set up with cameras? I said, of course, man, anything for you. And then he said, do you want to be in the shoot? And I'm like, heck yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. So I, I feel like a third wheel, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this. I know, but we love your reviews. I'm always watching them. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> there are some big people watching this. But I want to thank this man. And yeah, I appreciate the, yeah, appreciate it. All the oligarch people, this is for you guys. I wanted to go through the Fragrance du Bois collection with you, but not cover just the typical bestsellers that I'm sure many people could find already, but these are some of the other ones that are, I view them as the hidden gems in your house. Thank you, thank you. No, there's a, a, a beautiful selection here. Yeah. Why don't you run us through a bit about Fragrance Dubois, just for those that are maybe getting into more niche and luxury fragrances now. Yeah, so Fragrance Dubois is a house that is actually founded on exploring the character possibilities of Oud, and then that curiosity led to them kind of expanding along the olfactory spectrum. All these perfumes are kind of the results of that exploration, and it's always open and continuous. It's what, what else is new? What's missing in our range? And we really listen to a lot of feedback from our customers as what they would like to see from us next. So always message us and tell us what you'd like. Now I really want to bring you in here is because the way that you appreciate how they do oud. Uh, I love the way Fragrance Dubois just blend their oud in the fragrance. There's a lot of fragrances as everybody knows who ha that, that have oud in it and you know it has oud. Whereas I do a double take when, yeah. I, when I, I'm like, there's no way there's yeah. oud here. It's very special the way we work with it. Um, we would create a perfume first, and then once that's all kind of macerated together, then we add the oud, hand pour the oud into it, and then we bottle it immediately. We add the alcohol and then bottle it. That way, um, the oud hasn't been part of the initial process, and by adding it, hand pouring it later on, that actually adds a whole other dimension to how the oud is used within the scent. Rather than dominating, yes. it creates its own supportive structure yeah. within the fragrance. Honestly, your, your fragrances, or the fragrance collection, is, is uh, very impressive. Thank you, and, and that's the first collection with the oud. It was called the Shades Collection, mm -hmm. and that was to show all the colors and range. We used color to express the range of what oud can do, what are the possibilities of it. Yeah. Let's just jump on the first one, which is oud orange. <gasps> oud orange, okay. love it. So, I think when you try this one, this was my very first one that I bought. Ah, oh, it Is was. It? So it's got straight yeah. away. You have this wonderful zestiness, yeah. but then this wonderful really opening cool. heart of warmth. This warm, slightly powdery floral in it, um, and and the oud is really initial smell. I never pick it up. I yeah. never pick it up. But it's, it's, it's there in that kind of warmth, that yeah. depth, yeah. and also what the oud does. It's the longevity. That's right. Extends it. I was gonna say, I feel that the oud in the fragrance does create a nice presence. It also creates the sillage within your fragrances. Uh, I, f I feel that even the the more aromatic ones, they tend to last longer. Yeah, um, yeah glorious. And this, as of winter fragrance, I bought this during our winter. That's right. And it is magic to wear. This is one that I found a lot of customers are telling me, like they're coming back to the store, mm. and they're telling me like this is nuts because when I first s tried this. I initially got this warm floral, I didn't expect this to perform 10, 12 hours. This is mm. like crazy. And I must say, I have to give a lot of this uh, kind of recognition to the perfumers. Yeah. We use the master perfumers that we work with. Well, one, they get so excited because when they work with us, we give a brief, but we never give restrictions or limitations on in any aspect of, the, of, the, so, of working with us. Yeah. So you see the freedom within our perfumes and then it's the way they construct and compose um, is what makes them so special. Oh, Beautiful. that's good. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, the next one I wanted to choose because it's actually this man's favorite. You know, I was not aware of this fragrance. You know what happened? I think because it has intense, 
in the title I'm, and at Oud Blue and I'm like, uh oh, this is going to be, I was really surprised this one. Mm. And I had, a, I had some subscribers who wrote in and said, look, you really should sample this particular fragrance. Ah, oh, yeah. this is more of your, the first one I found in Australia, at least we sell to probably more women. Okay. And this one is definitely a more when I have a guy that comes in and perhaps they don't know much about your house yet and it's it's that kind of classic gentleman and he's looking for that, you know, everyday scent, office scent, or even like a special kind of date night scent. For me when I smell yeah, it, yeah. I just straight away get this coastal breeze. Yeah. And it's like like oh you know when you buy the sea you get this rush of breeze and the, the saltiness in the air, but the yeah. fresh oh, marine freshness yes. and straight away. Yeah. But then again, like we talked about how Where's the oud in there? Yes. But it's just, that's what gives it that unique character in the base and Absolutely. kind of really opens it up. And actually gives the marine notes the platform to stay because marine notes tend to die very quickly on the skin. Right. Um, but they, here you have the sustainability of it. I was wearing this over our summer, very hot, yeah. very sweaty, yeah. you know, moving around. Yeah. Um, and the, the way that this fragrance just sort of bloomed on me it was just it's it's just a magic there's this sparkling kind of sensation that just pops yeah it really jumps out at you and i think you see the oil on the skin yeah you see it there <laughs> that that's that's it says and, that, something. and that's yes. what stays all day you yeah. feel it and it's yeah. like oh it's here and that's just like absolute quality and the amount of it just shows you the amount of work that the perfumers yeah. must put in to make oh, yeah. a creation like this oh that's stunning gentlemen oud blue intense that's all you need to know. Must grab. Yeah. yeah. All you need to know. Now the next one is, I would say, I would consider this the powerhouse yeah. of your brand. Mm -hmm. This is any kind of big guy that comes in and, and he just wants an absolute, in Australian we have a term, a ripper of a fragrance. Oh, I've never heard that before. Aussie. Yeah. It's Aussie. It's Shall Aussie. I use that one? Yeah. In the future. This is a ripper <laughs> of a fragrance. This is just Ma absolute. Say mate. Mate, yeah. Absolute, just powerhouse. Sorry, sorry, yeah. You yeah. must. It is the kind of um, one of the jewels in the crown of Fragrance de Bois. Yeah. Um, I mean, when you see it, the colour, the richness of it, you know straight away it's a kind of it's a preview to what you're going to experience. Yeah. Um, and the colour, it's when you oh, smell it, geez. it's like mm. this is no it's, joke. It is, is. It's opulent. Yeah. Wow. This and that, is just... that word is so overused, but this is opulent, wow. and it, it kind of wraps around you. Yeah. And... It's such a. I I always describe this as a very refined, regal, powerful mm. scent. The oud comes out more on yes, this. Yes. So the, the, the oud note is a lot more pronounced. If you're looking for Correct. a fragrance du bois Absolutely. Oud, and you want to really pick it up, this is the mm -hmm. one to go for. Absolutely. Yes. And you need only a small amount yeah. on the skin. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because this collection is, it is priced a little more yes. than, than the others. Um, and I would say because of the concentrations and- And the construction and the amount of ingredients in that. Yeah. And again, we have a large kind of scope of price, really, of yeah, large price do. range, because that is well, it's, we, don't, we don't look at it. It's all the, it's all in the end result. Yes. We just go along the journey and just see what ends up at the end. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I like that about fragrance to why that you can come in at different levels, yeah. Um, exactly. yeah. yeah, and enjoy the fragrance. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. somebody new walking into our store, I, I, I'm not going to know like what's their yeah. kind of budget and stuff, right? I will show the, the house. The different ranges and then as people try then they'll start to work out okay where am i sitting in the, in your brand you know? yes. and there's definitely something there literally is something for everyone absolutely definitely yeah. the next one i want to cover is milano one of my this favorite. is one of my favorites as well. my yeah. favorite. i'm not supposed to have a favorite but um it's it's one of my at the moment it's kind of a, a kind of always a base that is always there and that layers so well with yeah. other perfumes too now i'm not familiar with this one Okay. I know. Sorry. Well, sorry, be, be sorry, prepared Daniel. to have your socks knocked off. Your range is so huge. Yeah. I mean, you have an extensive range. So uh, I, I, I'm familiar with a lot, but Milano is unfortunately not one of those yet. Well, it's the right place to try it, isn't Ex it? Absolutely. <laughs> and because the range is so huge, it's amazing that you really cover every area of the fragrance wheel. So no matter what you're looking for, the last one, Sara, is completely opposite to yeah. Milano. Yes. This is more your it's fun, like, energetic. It's leather, but yeah. zesty. Yeah. You know, and like Italian feeling, being here, you know. This, it smells fun. Yes, it is right? fun. When I wear this, um, pe people are always like, people are like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? This is a what are you wearing scent. People yeah. always want to know because it's got, it's got a sexiness to it. And it's not like a, I wouldn't define this as a masculine or feminine sexiness. It's, this is just it's like just, a, it's, it's this kind of, 
energy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Funny, on card, I wasn't, because you said leather, and I'm like, I'm not getting the leather yet. Yeah. But on skin, yeah. 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 it's yeah. very suede, very soft. But it just mm-hmm. blooms up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, you were mentioning before, sometimes you would enjoy layering yes, this. Yes, definitely. How do you go about it? So, with any layering, for me, they're all masterpiece perfumes. You know, individually, they are so beautiful. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, for myself and other people, you always think about your own experiences. I have a number of perfumes at home uh, of fragrance of bois, and I was like, I want to mix it up on a play. And yeah. we want perfume to not be stuffy. We right. want it to be fun and enjoy. Right. And that's when you explore and love within the range, you can layer them. So the rules that I have, I say rules, what I recommend is to always start with the heaviest first. So um, I generally start with Milano. Yeah. And then my latest one that I love to put on top is one of our new ones, Cavort. Okay. And so yeah. the leather, uh, and then mixed on yeah. top with the Cavort, with the Rose Absolute and the yeah. Jasmine. So, oh, it's, You've got that one too. I, got, yeah. I have Cavort also. <laughs> so you know how, yeah. how beautiful that is, but then with a bit of leather on the base. Yeah. I'm going to have to get the yeah. 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 And now you've got a scent memory now. Yeah. Absolutely. That's when you try Milano I mean, in Milan. That's a big thing for me. Scent memory is a big thing for me. Both of these lovely gentlemen actually requested this to be in the video. New York, Fifth Avenue. I love the city of New York. Uh, it's like a second home to me. I, I've, I've got a lot of friends there. So they talk about Sam Memory. So when I smelled this, I was like, is it going to live up to my expectations mm. of um, Fifth Avenue? But yeah. it is. It's, yeah. it's got the kind of a gourmand note, yeah. um, which if you know New York City, it has that kind of scent in the air. But oh, yeah, I just, you, oh, straight away, yes. and a wonderful caramel yes. note. This is a beautiful fragrance. And it's versatile. I think you can wear this anytime. I get a very clean aldehyde floral that comes through. This one ended up in one of your... You've done a video video of this before? Yeah, so I actually recommended this one as an awesome fragrance. Um, From reading the, I guess, the storyline, it was New York Fifth Avenue of during winter, if if I'm right. I found that this, as a summer fragrance, we were experiencing summer was magic yeah. and so i can only imagine also during winter there's rose in here too am i right yes, yes. yeah but that caramel as you mentioned mm. that's the for me mm. what grabs me is that kind of rich caramelly note in that it's like you can taste it almost i get you know this kind of gooey richness in my head i see almost like um something being covered in like a rich caramel that's been melted and it's... it's the like, more you describe it, the more I'm getting it through <laughs> funny, well. When you said aldehyde, I'm like, you're right, there is an aldehyde yeah. in here. This, as a, as a masculine fragrance, or a masculine leaning fragrance, fantastic. And I think as a feminine fragrance, would be yeah. magic too. Again, it's versatility. Absolutely. And in the winter, it, it becomes a little bit crisper. The more we describe it, the more I see it as such a uh, intriguingly complex creation. And every time you wear it, you're you constantly, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. For me, I always think about our perfumes as why do we like looking at art on walls every day mm. or pictures? What what is it we like about it? It's because mm. there's a constant state of finding something new, a constant state of almost like tension. And with perfume, you're always going to enjoy it because there's something you pick out. The same way you look at a picture and oh, I didn't see that in it before. Same with perfume, exactly the same. Okay, moving on to the next one. You really do have an awesome collection. It, it's so diverse. If I may say, particularly in the last three to five years, I would say the level that Fragrance de Bois have been taking over, yeah. this has now become the standard. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I really appreciate it. I mean, it's for us to put, we put so much into it, so much heart and soul, because for us it. it's just about what can we push it further? You know, there are so many limitless routes into perfume and nature, and I... I I love the way we express it, and when pe- when I see people try perfumes, and go, I, it go, it, it's really satisfying to see that, and you think, we've done a good job. I do want to cover, in particular, the last two, because they are the new releases. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell us a little bit about the Secret Trist. Oh, so Secret Trist, it's rich, it's sexy. If you think about the name, um, Secret Trist, it's got a little bit of a danger to it. It's, a, it's an edgy ascent. Wow. This is another one I'm not familiar with. It's a pepperiness to it yes, as well. Yes, yes. There's this bright, yeah, there's this bright, <laughs> bright spice to it. Mm. But it's, for me, I, it's a bit contradicting to say, but there's a bright spices, but then there's something very dark in it. That's, yeah, it's the frankincense. That's pulling you in. Oh, okay, yes. 
you get that kind of bright pepper, and then I was there's, say the there's this there. dark, yeah. kind of warm smokiness. When I smell it, I think about um, almost like someone there swirling a, swishing a cognac. Like, oh, oh, the thing is, okay. I'm, I was going to say, I'm getting like a rum or cognac note. There's another, there's yeah. another facet mm -hmm. happening there. Warm but sweet. Yes. Right? This is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> this is a really good creation. I love your new bottle, by the way. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, what I'm so excited about now is we created this new bottle, and on the back you have a debossed uh, logo, and we soften the sides. When you smell our perfumes, it's like it's the very sensual yes. and tactile when you smell them. So we want the bottle to be tactile. We want you to want to hold it. Yeah. And we so we soften the sides, and we also. Um, soften the base, so on, it almost looks like it's floating right. when you yeah. have it. I have to say your packaging overall, oh. when I first received my first fragrance Dubois, I thought it was, I thought it was only for that particular line, and I'm like, whoa, check out this packaging and, and, the, and the satin on yeah. the inside and the yeah. velvet, yeah. but no, that's your packaging. Everything you see, touch and feel with fragrance Dubois mm. should be, be special. Wow. It yes. should be like, yes. wow. And you know, it's based on a watch box, actually. Yeah. Um, because I think about when you see, I love watch boxes. Yes. I love boxes in general. I, I'm fascinated by all different like wood grains, things like that. But with ours, I wanted that kind of feel of when you open a watch and it feels pres prestigious yes. and, yes. you know, special. Yes. But also what's holding it inside is something precious, yes. right? It's just, when you open it, I feel like it gives you the feeling of you're opening something limited edition, but every time. And that's what it should do, because this, they are all such special pieces. Yeah. They deserve a special box, yes, you know? Yeah. I know so many customers tell me, they don't leave the bottle out, they put it back into the box. Absolutely, yeah. When that special pair of designer shoes, you yeah. put back in the box. Yes, Because it's course. so special and you treasure it. Yeah. And people treasure our perfume, so that's why. Every single it. customer I have always sent me photos of their shelf. They have it like this, don't they? Every single person displays their, proudly displays their fragrance of blood. Always send pictures. We love to see yeah, how yeah. customers display it at home. So always yeah. please, yeah, send those oh, to most us. Most definitely. Now London's Spice is the last one that we're gonna cover. And this is also part of the new release. This yes. is awesome. Yeah. This one I have smelled. Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like a, like a novice. I haven't, I haven't smelled that one. So. But that's why I wanted to do this video, right? Because it's gonna be kind of the, hidden gems of yeah, Frank's Dubois. Right. And you know, this is named after my home city, so. Oh, it has to be awesome. We've got to finish on this one. Oh, this is classic. There's nothing about this that you would go, I don't think this one works for me. That's right, this works for everyone. I get that spearmint to the top. Yeah. With the kind of laminate. Yeah. Fresh laminate and there. green. Yeah. Grabs your attention instantly. And I love cedar. And cedar is in a lot of our perfumes. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it comes through underneath. And it's almost like, um, like the wood breathing. And it comes in successive waves as you wear it. Yeah. Mm. It's funny because I get so much energy from a scent like this. Mm -hmm. At the same time though, as I'm sitting here smelling it, it's very calming, very soothing. That kind of spearmint at the top gives yes. you a very soothing feeling. With the citrus. Yeah. This one has, since London Spice launched, we've had such great feedback. Yeah. People say how it's day to night. Yeah. Very much so with this one. You can put it on and then quick top up before you go out at night That's so right. you know yeah. like the spirit of uh, London you know it's very much you know after you go been working all day you go out to yes. the pub afterwards and this is a kind of yeah. definitely put this fragrance on and go out and have a good time mm. I'm gonna wear this one <laughs> tonight actually I'm, I'm, I'm covered in perfumes but e every one of them yeah, oh, you right. smell so great yeah no, I, I smell awesome yeah. now we have to go and out I'm, and I'm so sad I've never I didn't realize how awesome Milano is. What I hope people take away when they wear fragrance to bar perfume is something actually Joni Mitchell said in an interview I heard once. She said, if you, when you listen to my songs, if you hear me, then I've not done my job. Right. But if you hear, listen to my songs and you cry a little bit, makes you laugh, makes you smile, then I've done my job. Yeah. And that's the same with how we see perfume. We put kind of a narrative to it when we create, but when you wear it, that disappears. Mm. It becomes yours. Mm. So it's really great to hear both your feedback yeah. and. Because it's like, I can see you like taking ownership of yes. it when you wear it. And then, yeah. that, and that's great because it's your story, it's your experience with it. That's the beauty of niche perfumery. Yes. Because I think the, the other thing I've found with niche perfumery, with the oils and, and in particular with Fragrance Dubois, is that the evolution of the fragrance, as it moves with your own body chemistry, your own oils, you, you put your signature, your own stamp on it too. Every fragrance you create is meant to take that person on a journey, but every person experiences that journey their own way. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I mean, Excellent. thank you for this opportunity yeah. just to talk about yeah. our perfumes. It's great. Very special thank you to 
my brother that I brought. You're welcome. All the way from Australia. This, this man's awesome. This is not my usual video for our customers, as you guys know. This is some uh, big production stuff, you know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Thank you to, thank thank you to you Daniel. Thank you to thank Kevin. You, Thanks for, for thank having Thank you, my friend. You guys can find Fragments du Bois exclusively in Australia from Oligarch Australia. So find us there. I'll pop on the website. Um, and uh, stay tuned because we'll be doing a lot more stuff covering their spectacular house. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.